Hello everyone, I am Patricia Bernal from Mexico. Thank you very much for being here with me today. A few years ago, I was fortunate to have the opportunity to enter a totally different world of lighting, an exciting, fun world full of challenges and learning. And this is what I want to share with you today, my experience in the stage lighting industry. For many years, I worked designing the lighting systems for theaters and TV studios around the country. So I will give you a general overview of the stage lighting industry in Mexico. Then I will talk about a little bit of the design process and how LED is a big game changer in the industry. And to finish, I will give you the basics for a good lighting for the screen. Because for two years now, we all have our own TV studio at home. And I hope this can be helpful for some of you. The stage lighting industry is a huge and growing industry in Mexico and in the world, including theater, television, movies, and live entertainment. To give you a better idea how big the industry is in Mexico, I can tell you that in talking about theater, only in Mexico City, we have more than 160 venues and more than 700 around the country. Talking about television, we have more than 500 TV stations, plus all the independent channels that are transmitting online. During the years that I was in the industry, we worked on more than 100 lighting projects. In the case of theaters, we light independent theaters, university theaters, municipal and state theaters, theaters with large audiences. For TV lighting, we made projects for small companies and also for the largest companies, broadcast companies in Mexico. With the pandemic, this particular side of the industry has taken a great turn. We live now in a digital world and many companies wish to have their own production spaces and have been interested in creating their own studios. And they want to light them up with professional equipment. And I am talking about every kind of company, from educational to pharmaceutical, going through sales companies. Design process. We start from the point that we will achieve the objectives of light. Based on what most lighting techs agree, stage lighting is said to have four objectives. The first one is to achieve visibility. Since the eye is naturally drawn to the brightest point of a picture, a successful lighting design provides the proper visual focus for the viewing audience. The second one is to provide illumination in a three-dimensional form of light and shadow. Utilizing numerous sources from a variety of angles provides a plasticity or a sense of form and mass which sets the performer apart from surrounding scenery. The third one is achieve composition. Visually painting the stage with intensity, color, and distribution of light achieves composition. And the fourth one is create mood. The successful integration of these objectives create mood. It is important to clarify that we didn't design the lighting for the play or the performance, but we provided the necessary instruments to achieve a proper functioning of the venues. Uh, this used to be a salespeople industry. I mean, the people in charge of equipping the venues were mostly salespeople, not lighting professionals. How it worked before is that lists of equipment were made based on other venues. It was simply copied without taking care of the particular needs of the project. With the introduction of LED technology in lighting, the projects became projects of heavy, of big investments for which many did not materialize. 
So we design lighting systems considering the size of the stage and the type of activities that will take place in order to offer affordable and sustainable projects. We made the difference by implementing a design method that includes calculations. That way we have no more lights than you need to start operating. LED is providing endless possibilities to both the stage lighting and architectural lighting industries. More and more, both industries have encounters thanks to existing technologies. Stage lighting controls like DMX control system are being used with architectural lighting purposes. The theater, due to sensitivity to color accuracy, has been slower to accept the new devices, which can achieve millions of colors and come in a variety of instrument types. Applications for the source are in constant development and manufacturing improvements consistently increase lamp life, intensity, color rendering, and color fidelity while significantly reducing power consumption and lowering cost. Savings. LED technology can and will save money from four different perspectives. Energy savings per fixture, amount of fixtures, maintenance savings, and heat savings. In Mexico, there are plenty of feeders that can't operate for long periods of time because they can't pay the electricity bills. Thompson lamps generated a lot of heat, so it was the electricity of the lighting plus the air conditioning. Same in TV studios. For many of the venues that we work with, we proposed an hybrid system so they could introduce LED technology and start saving without making a huge investment. But now, thanks to LED fixtures, the stage are more flexible, also no more gels, no more lamp replacement, and no more burns. Now I want to show you some pictures of some of the projects in which we made a transition from conventional lighting to LED lighting and others that we designed with 100% LED technology from the beginning. The first one is Quintana Roo University Theater. This was the first theater, theater with 100% LED lighting system in Mexico. Of course, we used ETC. Then we have Theater of the City in Playa del Carmen. This was also 100% LED lighting system. Then we have the Sinaloa University Theater in Culiacán. This was one of the hybrid projects that we um, did. They chose to keep some of the conventional lighting that they had before, and they added the LED fixtures to complete the lighting system. Um, also, we have Faro de Aragón, which is another hybrid project. We kept the conventional lighting in the great troughs because of the long distance to the stage. And finally, we have the theater of the city in La Paz, Baja California, also a 100% LED lighting system. For television, we have the TV studios for CPS Media in Puerto Vallarta, an all LED lighting system and we have the TV studios for the University of Nahuac in Querétaro, also all LED lighting system, the same as TV and photography studios in Ibero University. And I have many more that I can show you, but it would take a lot of time. And I want to finish this presentation with a very simple explain of the basics for good lighting for the screen. The method is the three-point light method. This method is used in photography and in video. 
And we have the key light, which is the main light in your face. Then we have the field light, which is uh, the light that will help uh, with the shadows. And the backlight is the light that will separate you from the background and will give you tridimensional form. We can see here an example of putting the three lights in the subject. I wanna show you that if you are in front of the screen, it's very simple. You can use the natural light like I am doing right now as a field light and I have my key light here. And I wanna show you what happens if I turn off my key light. You can see only half my face. So it's very simple. And you can do with a simple ring light that you can uh, buy online. But if you want more professional equipment to achieve a good lighting for your screen, you can go to a special store. I can give you the information. I know it was a very quick review, but now you know a little more about this lighting industry. Thank you very much. And please feel free to ask any questions and ask for all the information that you need. Thank you.